This episode is all about the difference between buses versus aux or FX sends and channels. So what's the difference between buses and groups and AUX channels and sends? So let's use our small project here as an example. We got a bunch of tracks on the left here and we got a bunch of groups and buses on the right. A bus or a group in its most basic sense gets 100% of its audio from the tracks that are routed directly to it. So these vocal tracks, for example, they're being routed directly to this vocal bus. If I drop the slider on that vocal bus, 100% of the audio from these tracks will disappear. If I put an equalizer or a compressor on this vocal bus, it's gonna equalize and compress 100% of the output of these tracks. By comparison, an AUX channel only gets a small percentage, and that percentage of audio is determined by what's called a send. A send off of a track bleeds a little bit of the audio from that track to a different destination, and that destination is called an AUX channel or aux channel. So for example, if I put a reverb or a delay on that aux channel, it only treats a percentage of the audio, and that's determined by that send. So for example, these vocal tracks right here, if I take a send off that vocal track, and I create an aux bus, and I put a reverb on that aux bus, I'm only going to get as much reverb as that send will allow. So think of it as a water hose. In a bus's configuration, the water goes in one end and it only comes out one other end. That's the bus. 100% of that water ends up at the bus. But if we poke a hole in that water hose and a bunch of water starts to leak out, that leak is the send. And where that leak goes, that destination, is an AUX channel. So that opens up a ton of creative possibilities because we can do all kinds of effects and things with that. So that's why things like reverbs and delays, which are known as digital effects, are most commonly used on aux channels because we're only treating a portion of the audio. And things like dynamic effects like EQs and compressors and all those kinds of effects are most commonly used on buses. Now, can they be interchangeable? Absolutely, and there's a ton of exceptions to this rule, but in its most basic sense, that's how it works. As your mixes become more complex, the definition between buses and groups will change. But for the time being, in our really basic example here, buses control 100% of the tracks that are routed directly to them. Aux channels get a percentage of their audio, and the percentage is determined by those sends.